So it's good to good to make sure you just reset the game, come in clean, not worry about, you know, anything else. Uh, wrong tag. New character. Who this? I mean, some people have different tags for different characters. I certainly, I certainly did for a while. Any any character which I have to like consistently wear back air with, I, I, oh. use, I use a different tag. I did it, yeah. I did it with Fox and Smash Four. Trust yeah. Me. Yeah. No, yep, that makes sense. Okay, but we have Mega Man versus Lucina, and this is going to be a an interesting, an interesting match. As Lucina is obviously going to have to you know, find her way through these pellets, find her way through the uh, aggression that. Uh, sorry, the defensive walls that Mega Man's going to throw out already. These lemons are racking up a little bit of percent, but quickly answered back. Yeah. Mega Man doesn't have like too many options to get out for free. I mean, he has Leaf Blade, like you're seeing here, to kind of force them to shield and get a mix-up. Yep, and then I think uh, the other thing is just the, get the item control. Like we saw in the last game, we did have that Diddy, uh, we did have that Diddy control of the of the stage with a banana. And I think the Metal Blade's going to be a, a huge factor if uh, if he decides to pull it out. We're barely missing the timing on that yeah. neutral get-up. Could have been huge. Yeah, seems like he's just using the Metal Blade as just general pressure. He's going to pick it up. Just going to that was a cool uh, out of shield option, you know, using the uh, the leaf blade out of shield, jump leaf blade. I yeah. sorry, not leaf blade, leaf shield. The leaf shield. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty decent. I mean, if you have some distance between, if you have some distance between you and your opponent, you know, out of shield, leaf shield, <laughs> force them to shield. Yeah, gets a gets a good percent on. Oh, good reaction there, catching the jump. I love, I sort of love that standoff that a lot of players have, you know, when it's like, okay, I'm at the ledge, I know you're trying to react to my ledge option, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, and then the moment they hit the option, they're like, bam, back air. Yeah. It's just, it's such a satisfying moment for the player who's ledge trapping. You're like, yes, I reacted to the thing. Yeah, exactly. It, it's also funny when you sit there forever, and yeah, you exactly. just jump off, you just jump. <laughs> Eventually something has to happen. And getting an S smash there, nice, uh, nice conversion. Oh, goes for the bar back air, but the DI in actually mixes that up a little bit. Um, trying to get these, these traps on the platforms. <laughs> the pellets beating out the metal blade with that little little plank. Yeah. Seems like uh, Waker is doing a decent job, you know, forcing him to stay. Yeah, like that. Like he's not approaching too quickly. He's just throwing the pellets and standing. Yeah, really using these pellets to take take a little bit of space. Not use uh, not using up any really committal options. It's, it's hard for Lucina to get through that wall of pellets effectively. Um, you kind of have to jump over them or like shield them and then slowly take space. Hmm. But it's just a, it, it's definitely a battle of attrition here. Yeah. The leaf, blade on sh uh, the leaf shield on shield is not going to be a good, good option. He gets a forward smash for his trouble and now Waker is uh, in a little bit of a, a rough shape here. Yeah. It's, it's a little hard for him to, it seems like it'd be a little hard for him to come back. It's a lot of like nickel and diming, you know, here and there. Not much like actual big damage coming out from it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is something where we we do know, I mean, we do know Mega Man has the ability to get those early socks there. The hard knuckle, the down air, as well as confirms into the up tilt are really the, the biggest ways I've seen that. But, you know, it still it still requires a big opening, which we haven't really seen uh, Wager get much of. It's mostly been, like you said, the nipple and diving. Yep. Oh, what? F smash, that's a big stock taker that was as good well. Timing. And, okay, so smart. Um, Wait there on the platform. I'm, I'm not sure why it was like so long, but one of the big things is when Mega Man uh, knows you're about to respawn, a lot of players will immediately jump off the angel platform and throw the throw the crash bomber directly onto them because it still hits them while they're invincible, but not while they're intangible on the angel platform. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna chill here. You're not gonna crash bomber me. I don't, I don't, I don't need to have that as I'm coming into my fresh stock on me. This is a this is a very very tense match where I think both players are unwilling to commit too hard. That was a, a, a relatively big middle option, but it led into a huge advantage state for for a beta. Got a 65% now. And this is a this is a very I, I feel like slow paced match compared to what I was expecting with a with a Lucina. Yeah. Um I just mentioned earlier uh, Mega Man Waker, sorry. Yeah, no worries. He's just uh, walling him real hard. Okay. He, Went in pretty hard there. Walking at him now. Yeah, yeah been getting days. close to the the kill percent. I mean, Lucina getting a forward smash would be enough. 
Or a back air in the right position. But oh, now, Waker with a little bit of stage position, trying to get that forward smash. Charged all the way up to catch him. But now, a back air. Punished with an up yet a shield. That almost took it. Yeah, it's it's very close. Any closer to the blast zone. They're doing it. Oh, wow. Just trying to catch the landing with the forward smash. Yeah, that almost got him. I think that would have taken the stock. Yeah, and now, ooh, really aggressive yeah. runoff. I, forward air, and it just does not connect. And the down air answers back. Wow, it, it always feels bad when you know, you're know you like, all right, I'm going through this ledge guard, and then suddenly they just turn around, turn it around, and you're like, yeah. You know, I, I thought I had it. I, I was so close. And now. Yeah. Especially since uh, the way both players were playing, it didn't really give much opportunity for those big hits to take the stock. Mm -hmm. So you decide, you know, you might babysit, but then you go for a committal option, reverse edge guard. Yep, and that, that happens. Happens to the best of us for sure. And now we're going to be hopping into the next game. Do you think we're going to see any, any character changes, or is Mega Man the choice? I'm not sure. I'm not sure who else they play, but what? I think... Um, I mean, it was very close. It was last dog last yeah, year, right? Was, you know, you got, you're probably, probably going to yeah. stay with that same one. Yeah. I do feel like Mega Man can scrap a little. Oh, he can, yeah, he can scrap pretty hard. You know, space some aerials, go for some grabs. Uh, like you were expecting, the, the Metal Blade play. Yeah, I was expecting a little bit more like when you pick up the Metal Blade mm -hmm. and you like, you know, Z use it like Z with Z-Drop pellets just to be able to like control some, some stage and like if they yeah. come in, in on you, you can... You can hit it on their shield. It's really good because he drops onto their shield that locks them in, so you can, you can grab them for free. Yeah, multi hit. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And also, if you're landing and you happen to be holding it, throw it straight down. Yep. A little bit safer landing. Absolutely. Mega Man. Okay, the Mega Man is still here. Expecting to see the same characters from these players then. Did you play much Mega Man? Uh, I like the games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love Mega Man. Which is the red one? I don't remember. Ooh. Uh, I'm not sure. That's the, it's been a while. It's been a while. My Mega Man, my Mega Man trivia is not up to snuff. I'd have to ask my homie. Yeah, me neither. This is a good skin though. I like the it skin. Is cool. All of these are cool in my opinion. Yup. Oh man. Okay, here we go. In this next okay. game here, Waker having to having to make a little bit of a comeback. Two games in a row, but starting off a little bit, a little bit well, you know, getting a 17%. Unfortunately, didn't connect that back air after the down throw. But oh, Waker already playing a little more proactive. Yeah, absolutely. Moving around a lot more. And a good choice there. So we've seen earlier he's been going for the the leaf shield release directly on shield instead of you know just running back with it and letting it go. And he's yeah. got forward smash a couple times for that, but this time. You know, adapting, changing it up a little bit, but right now, wow, down air into F smash. This is a huge lead for Fatum already up 50% against a character that, you know, mostly, like you said, has been nickel and diamond. Yeah, and also, uh, Mega Man's kill options, you have to look a bit harder for, I think, than just, like, rip into F smash. Yeah, they're, they're, they're less simple, right? Like, yeah, you, know, less you, have, you get, like, you can get a back air at higher percents, but a lot of times you're looking for something like a drag down back air to up tilt or a metal, a metal blade. A metal blade into back air or something like that. You know, you have to you have to go for a setup a lot. Like an up tilt read, yeah, like setups. That's what it And F smash is all is one way to get the kill without a setup, but good turnaround grab there gets the gets the throw off stage and once again setting up this this forward smash. But I, I don't know if that hits ledge hang or maybe it doesn't hit Lucina edge thing. I don't, think, edge it does. Thing. I don't, don't think, think it does. Ledge. Okay, I'd be that'd be pretty good if it did. That would be amazing. Light trapping would be insane, right? Already is pretty good with the yeah. with the metal blade. Oh, good metal blade back here. That was one of the setups we were talking about earlier, and gets the stock for it. First big lead here for for Waker, and has to see if he can answer back. No, just immediate up. He had a shield. When you're at that high of a percent, you touch Lucina's shield. She's gonna let it rip every time. The dolphin slash is ready to go. Exactly. It's actually cool on this stage. Lucina upbeats center stage. Oh. Something's going on. No, no. This is optimal gameplay. Keep going. What happens if Lucina up east center stage? She, she goes to the top platform. Oh, yeah. She lands on the top platform. It's hard to punish. Yeah, that's a good point. But, yeah. I mean, I think Mega Man is making pretty good use of these platforms, making it harder for Lucina to approach from the air. And look at this. 50%. And now Fatum is like, all right, I'm going to run back. That's, it's such an interesting choice for the player who's, like, slightly behind to try to do that. Maybe Fatum trying to come up with a new 
strategy, you know, to come to get in on Mega Man. But right now, it's just, uh, it's been all, all Waker. He's been zoning out with these projectiles, really finding his groove in this game. Yeah. Could also be, uh, Fatem is looking for an opportunity, like, if he drops to a platform, you know, he may not. He can just jump over some pellets, and then he's in. Yep. Something really simple like that. Makes sense. And nice forward air and gets the crash bomber attached. And oh, almost comboed that, that forward smash. It could have, if he released a little bit earlier, it would have. Yeah. That was almost crazy. Yeah. It looked insane. That would have been hype. <laughs> back air. Oh, now. It is in a really good spot. Ooh, He's barely making it back. Huge amount of distance on that up B. Yeah. You're fortunately being able to air dodge after it. Yep. Characters like Pac Man can't do that. Yeah, but you know, Pac-Man's got insane recovery anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like that's a, it's very similar to like Sonic stuff where you, know, you, just, you just have full control of yourself after, but you have no hitbox in the up so a little bit of a trade. Okay, still very close. Uh, the anti air anti yeah, smash. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what a what an option to choose it. So it works out. Let it rip. Yeah. And this is Still a good position for Fatem to take the stock, but finally Waker not immediately falling for something. And that was what happened multiple times in the last game was Waker, uh, Fatem was just waiting for Waker to use anything on his shield and then just would let, let that up be rip. And expecting to see it again soon, just a forward air though. Not enough to get the stock. Once again, using his Crash Bomber to try to protect his recovery a little bit. And oh yeah, that's that, that early release on shield we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Use it right there, it's just so punishable. And with that percent, it didn't matter which way. I was going to take this off. Yep, and trying to catch. Whoa! Immediately actionable after the end of that forward smash. And yeah. Gets the grab. And 81%, huge lead built up. 94 now. It's looking like it's Waker's game to take. Unless Fatum really turns up a notch here. Yeah, I, I was thinking uh, after that upward angle that side B could trap on the platform a little better. But that's okay. You know. Yeah, that, was, that was good. He had a different idea. I like the idea for sure. Yeah. Get some more damage. Yeah, and now we're, we're like a Metal Blade, a metal blade back air away from the game being over if it's in the right position. But we haven't really seen much uh, Metal Blade conversion. We've only seen that one earlier. Oh, and the forward smash as the ledge trap once again. Trying to just throw aerials. Make sure to take space away from Lucina. But forward tilt. This could be a huge opportunity for Fatum. Oh. Once again, finding that grab. The oh, smash out of shield almost does it. That air dodge, a little bit of spaghetti. The stand up, the shield stand up, just staring at each other. <gasps> oh, oh, so close. If he dashed a little bit more forward, that would have caught the missed tech. And possibly the game, but the shield is looking small. And the game is looking over. Waker takes it, bringing us to a game three. Both of these players just needing one more win to advance into the top eight. Hear it, show me your moose. Yeah. Something cool on that stage with uh, Mega Man that's a bit easier on that one than most is uh, you place his up B on the top platform. Yep. When your opponent comes off the angel platform uh, and they bounce off, what's his name, the dog? Uh, Rush. Yeah, when they, when they bounce off Rush, when they come back down, their invincibility will be over. Yes, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's definitely a setup that I've seen a lot of Mega Mans use. Uh, where it's just like uh, it, it's similar. Uh, Pac-Man could do something similar, where he places trampoline. the the trampoline right there, and they just uh, you know get in there, gets in their way. They're like trying to come down and just bounce off of it, and then their invincibility is gone. Yeah, a lot of characters have little tricks like that, and I, and I love to see that. You know, it, a lot of people will talk about like optimizations and combos, and, you know, optimizations and you know uh, ledge trapping and stuff like that. But I think there's a there's there's a lot of small nuances in the game that people don't think about as much, and I love to see when people take advantage of things like yeah, um, you know, doing something to your opponent while they're invincible. Like that's really cool. Yeah, like the crash bomber. You said. Yeah, the crash bomber yeah. on the invincibility is huge. Um, it really, it really can take uh, control of a, of the next stock. Uh, where Belmonts will, the thing with Belmonts do, where they throw the cross in the other direction right as you respawn, and then they jump over it, so it comes back as like a, a projectile that they don't have to throw. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Unfortunately, I don't see too much Belmont. Or, yeah. yeah, I have a I have a homie who plays Belmont. Um, I have a couple so homies who play Belmont actually, so it's it's kind of fun when uh, when I see them, you know, really really represented. But you know, it's not always not always there. 
tough character. Yeah, a lot of a lot of hard matchups. Yeah. Okay, we're getting into this next game, getting ready for it. Yeah, let's see. Just taking a taking a quick breath of water. It's important for some player. Should not hit. <laughs> it's important for some players to really center themselves after a match. You know, make sure that you know, as I have a tough, a tough, hard fought game, just like take a take a quick breath, re think about like what your strategy was coming into this match, figure out where what you're trying to do, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if there's any difference in game plans uh, based on stages, based on uh, something here. Oh, Mega Man, Mega Man music, game plan music. Yeah, I. What's your opinion on music power ups? I believe in it. Yeah, absolutely. 100. 100%, 100%. Yeah. Me yeah. too. Me too. If you can, uh, if you can hear the music, you know it power it powers you up. If it's the right one. Oh, going uh, going somewhere else. Especially when it's combined with the actual game audio. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Tekken. Rainbow Cruise. Almost. <laughs> almost. Almost. It almost. It could have been beautiful. Could have been amazing. <laughs> oh man. Back when the stage used to be legal in melee. Dude, that was wild. The, the, the old days were crazy. Amazing. Poka Floats was legal. Mute Poka City. Floats, Mute City. <sighs> so good, so sick. Oh, I love Mute City was actually my favorite legal stage for a really long time. All right, going into this same stage, just miss, missing a platform. Yeah, and I, I do think that th that does create a, a little a little bit of disadvantage, like you said, with that uh, Lucina up not being able to really reach that top platform, making it harder to uh, punish. But at the same time, I feel like Lucina has a little bit more opportunity to get in on Mega Man, get yeah. through these pellets and these leaf shields. So we'll see. Not allowing Mega Man to circle camp, and then she has she can shark both platforms easier. Or it's the same, but now there's not a top platform there. For me yeah. To run away to. Not another place to avoid those up airs. Now, okay. Good percent already for Fatal. Already in. Yeah, already already close to kill percent. Like yeah. you said. Good anti-air with that back air. And another one catching out these jumps. The hard knuckle almost gets yeah, it. Yeah, he went for it. He's just keeping him in the corner. Oh, other corner now. Oh, almost. That was a, that was a really cool setup. You know, yeah, just using the crash bomber to try to force up the air dodge. Almost giving the hard knuckle afterwards, but not right there. And now it's... Lucina's time to shine. The crash bomber is on the corner, but I never feel like it's it's actually like in a place that messes up the edge guard because Lucina's able to be a little bit further away using that range of her sword. And yeah, now, we, oh, we did see one time it actually hit him as he tried to recover. Yeah, messing himself up. Yeah. Stand off the back okay. the shield. I think a back air will take it. It's really strong. Yeah, just in the right position. Like definitely, definitely like a back air offstage or in the corner will do it. But yeah, it, it, it's getting a little bit stale as well. Yeah, and it is kind of tough to hit one raw. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's usually like a call out, like a jump call out, yeah. or you, know, you confirm into it. Now, four times in the stale queue, I think it's probably not killing in the corner. Oh, up tilt. Well, I don't I don't know if that was an intentional input, but that back air finally does it. And, yeah, like you said, really, really strong move. In this game, it's stronger than boost kick. It's stronger than boost kick? In this game, yeah. That's wild. Yep. The pellets. Yeah, just dragging up a little percent, but they're not quite as uh, not quite as threatening as they used to be. Yeah, that, that's what we were talking about. Using the, using the leaf shield, backing up and getting that, trying to poke the shield a little bit. Good percent yeah. by Waker, just making sure, racking it up safely. Oh, I don't know. I, I kind of gotta imagine that was a missed input once yeah. again. I was what he was trying to do, but regardless, he is doing a good job telling Fatum like, "This is not your space. This is mine." Right, taking it away from Fatum. And the way he's using leap shield so far in this match. Oh, big opportunity. Aiden, you missed time the, the air dodge on the crash bomber, and now yeah. it's still just really, really close game. These pellets slowly racking up percent. Yeah, but Aiden is also doing a good job not, not letting these big hits get in. Having right. a bit more patience, especially when on the platform. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter that much how many Mega Man pellets take as long as they're never hitting with the, the big kill moves. Yeah. Our knuckle once again, good wait by Fatum, charging up this forward smash. Doesn't hit the ledge, though, yeah. and Fatum is just like, all right, you know, I can, I can, I can wait here all day. That was the first down we've seen. Yeah. Well, dash attack. <laughs> Not a move you see very often by Mega Man. Metal Blade in hand for Lucina. Crash Bomber, S-Smash, does it. 
There People we go. Pressured by the crash bomber. Yeah, definitely. I mean, because previously it felt like Baden was just always sitting on the ledge waiting for that forward smash. This time it's just like, okay, yeah. have to act now. Making him feel like he can't do it for free. Big percent now for, for Waker. Baden getting a little bit of a ledge trap, trying to fight his way off. And oh, once again, that little <laughs> bit of a mistake throwing that leaf shield but at close range. And now we're on a last stock, last game situation. Both these players really want to make top eight here at Show Me Your Moose. Forward air, oh, going oh, deeper this yeah, back air. Really deep. Longest baby suit. Okay. Fatum trying to work his way in slowly, but it's so hard to find it on Mega Man, who's already racking up 70%. Finally, though, a big opening for Fatum. Oh, that's keep it going. Oh, the, that oh. poked. Yeah, he dropped shield too early. Yeah, and oh, up air, back air, oh, <laughs> just barely missing twice in a row. Oh. Back air, the last hit of it. Down air, not gonna connect. Nah, not this time. He just waited. And oh. finally, the hard knuckle does it. Love that kill screen, the boxing glove going into the ground. And yeah. that's going to be yeah, there, hugging it out. Hard fought battle for this top eight spot from both of these players. Clearly have a ton of respect for each other. Yeah. Wow, amazing job by, you know, by the Mega Man. I just really felt like there was so much, uh, so much interesting play going on over yeah. the set. Both, both players, very patient. All right, we're going to have a quick word from one of our main sponsors, MTA. Uh, the MTA Foundation is deeply committed to connecting rural communities in Alaska and making a positive impact. The MTA Foundation is primarily funded by MTA employee donations, member capital credit donations, general donations, and, and more recently, MTA gave